One thing you want to note is that if you purchase the long handle, you cannot convert it to a short handle. Another thing is that if you get a short handle, it can't be converted to a long handle either. So we're gonna help you decide which one is best for you. The long handle is typically for someone with a roller trailer or someone that wants to release the boat from inside the boat. This would be the long handle. Things to note about the long handle is that it will automatically reset once you launch the boat. So it is ready to grab your boat once you come back in and doesn't require any resetting. If you prefer to release it from inside the boat, one other thing you can do is actually tie a rope to this or attach a rope to this, stand inside the boat and pull the rope to release it. That is another benefit of the long handle. One thing you do want to note about the long handle is that you do need to float the boat in order to release it. So you won't be able to release this on dry land. You will have to float the boat and then release the boat into the water. The short handle model is actually gonna come with two separate handles. There's gonna be one handle that's already installed on there, and this is gonna be an automatic reset. So every time you launch your boat, it's gonna be automatically ready to come in and snap in and lock once you load the boat. The second option is gonna be this option. You can switch this handle out with the other handle. How this one works is it's gonna be a manual reset. So this one, you'll be able to unlock your boat at any point. So if you're up in the landing and you undo your strap and chain and you have a bunk trailer and you prefer to just keep the clamp open, then you can use this handle, which will manually keep it open. But please note, when you load the boat, you're gonna have to flip the handle back down in order to lock the clamp onto your boat. So it's just a preference. If you prefer to unload or unlock the clamp at the landing, you can use this option. If you prefer to unload and have it automatically reset, then that's gonna be the option that's already installed. Typically customers with bunk trailers do actually prefer the short handle. Another thing to note about the short handle automatic reset is that you will need to float the boat in order to launch it into the water. If you prefer not to float the boat and then trigger it, then we do recommend the other option handle where you can manually just keep it open. One thing to note is that if you do have a roller trailer, you typically wanna get the long handle or you'll wanna use this automatic reset because you wanna make sure that this does keep your boat locked until you're ready to launch into the water.